is February 25th, 2021. This one there I got a call from a guy last night. Um, he's got a gas boiler and the pilot's out. So I tried to talk him through how to clean the pilot hood and tell him, you know, get a little piece of hose and blow it out good and try to relight the pilot. Well, he relates the pilot and it won't stay on, so it's either a bad thermal couple or a gas valve maybe. But anyway, I'm going over there first thing this morning and um, I guess this kid's going to let me in and see if we could fix it for him. He says I worked for him before. Me and Miss Molly are on our way over there to work. Anyway, we'll try to get you some shots when I get there. I've got like three jobs lined up this morning, so i got to go take care of a power venter for a guy. And uh, what's the other one? Oh, a heat's, a heat's uh, overriding um, on another, another system. It's set for the 50, and it's getting 75 in, in the in the area. So something's good, something's overriding there. Might be a bad check valve or thermostat. We'll figure it out. One thing about my job, it's kind of like you got to be an inspector Clouseau and figure stuff out, and it's always something different. I I kind of really I enjoy what I do. I really do. But anyway, we'll try to get you some shots when I get there. see shit without my, my glasses keep fogging mm -hmm. heat pretty warm in here oh yeah these we have two space heaters and they managed to heat up pretty much the entire house all right so i'm just going to turn it up so we could get it running and make sure that everything's okay and we'll turn it down when i before i leave okay thanks yeah 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 Thank you. The boiler is off to the left. Okay. Make sure you had it off here, which is off. Non-adjustable gas valve. So you were down here with your father trying to play around with it or? Yep. Okay. And you said he lit the pilot and it wouldn't stay on? Yep. Okay. Second we took second we um, took our hands off of it, it just went out. Now how long did you hold it down for? Uh, run about a minute. Okay, yeah, so. Put the power off to it. Yeah. Looks pretty clean for the most part and somewhat. Yeah, that thermal couple looks cooked. Yeah, she's definitely cooked. <laughs> no work today for you? Uh, just school work. Oh, okay, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, you get at my own pace today, really. That's nice and tight. Bro. All right. Let's see what we can do here. We'll change that thermal couple and we'll give it a shot. I should hopefully take care of it. time in school because after once you get out you're gonna have to go out working right yep taking chemistry right now so i don't think i can enjoy it much no one's been sick in the house uh nope That's right. yeah she's definitely chooched she's toast So what that does is, when the pilot's on, it heats up that thermocouple, which um, tells the gas valve that the pilot's on, we get like gas through, right? So what happens is if that thing gets, it's a safety, so 
so if there's a problem with it, it's going to shut the gas off. So you don't fill your house up with gas. Make sense? burners down so if there's any extra stuff on it I'll clean it out going to school for? Uh, biology. You're going to save the planet? Um, something like that, I guess. <laughs> That's funny, huh? Yeah. I saw them and all this shit. Yeah. Didn't, didn't work out so great in Texas there this year, did it? Holy shit. Yeah. Crazy. Bad. I heard something similar happen like some years ago, but they just did nothing about it. Well, usually don't get that cold, I don't think, in Texas, but it did this year. Yeah. I think that's what the issue was, you know? They're yeah. not used to that cold weather. And we got this cold snap come through, and, uh, wreaks havoc. Oh, yeah. Not only that, like, their infrastructure is way behind some more states. That's why you didn't hear anything... You know, totally weren't prepared for this stuff. Let me get the gas on still. Yeah, the gas is on. Light it. This gas valve is non adjustable. Kind of a big flame. Wow. Stays on there. All right, staying on. Could adjust that flame down a little bit. Pull a little high. Save on the save on killing the other one, right? What happens is it just gets cooked. All right, so we should be able to fire it right up. It's on. Hit the power. Adjustable gas valve, I believe. You got a uh, carbon monoxide detector in the house? Uh, yep. Yeah, we should be putting that in the parking. I'm gonna check the uh, the CO in the in the unit.
wing looks a little queer to me. Yeah, they came with the house, and last time we had, and I quote, who the hell set this up? <sighs> I don't see any soot, but we're going to check the, uh, we're going to check it with my meter because I don't really like the looks of the flame. Let me shut it off for now. I get my meter, and we'll check it, okay? Turn it on again, and I drill the hole in the smoke pipe. We're going to check it. This is non-adjustable, this gas valve. These flipping masks, I mean, they keep fogging, huh? Fogging up your glasses? Yep. You don't wear glasses? Um, I usually wear sunglasses because I work outside a lot. But what I do is I take some of the stuff they use for the, for the uh, diving masks. It helps huh. a lot better. It does help? Yeah. So the stuff for the diving masks, huh? Because I tried yeah. this other stuff from Amazon. It didn't seem to work for me. No, I, I use, um, what is it? I see gold. Natural gold. And, like, I'm going, when I'm going from, like, 20 degree temperatures to, like, 80 degrees with... Oh, it'll fog for sure, right? It's going to fog for sure, but, like, it Natural defogs, bad. like, faster than it fogs sometimes. <laughs> We're checking the PPMs here, which is the carbon monoxide. I think we're going to be all right because it's not going, not climbing crazy. It's good to check things. I mean, especially if it, it, it looks a little iffy, you know. Better to be safe than sorry. I'm doing a combustion test on it also, so which makes it. You might want to. This is yours, right? You want to save that so it doesn't. You don't want to have that too close to the to the unit. I'm thinking. Yep. Yeah, we pass at 31. And that 47 is not climbing. So that's fine. Put the cover back on and get these air bands open up all the way. You could open them up all the way if it wasn't open. But this is non-adjustable. Oh, hit print. Yeah, you could see it's kind of all puffy and it got kind of cooked. I did lower a pilot down a little bit and uh, she should be good now. So it's going to take a little while but it's going to heat up. Right. You got old cast iron radiators upstairs? Uh, sure. I think so. Must must have. Was it copper fin? Um, I don't think it's the cast iron ones because those are the ones they have in the old school buildings. Now you got another boiler on the other end there. What's that for? Second floor? Um, I'm imagining. I don't really know to be honest. You sure this is the one I'm supposed to be working on? Yep. I think it's just getting. I think we're getting a downdraft from the from the chimney, but I could smell. I could smell a little bit of. Uh, Just want to double check I don't have any leaks, you know. It is pretty windy outside today. I think that's just getting it. We're having a downdraft, I think. Another union here. It's always best to check. When in doubt, check it out. Good. 
All right, so no thermal couple combustion test, gas leak test. Pressure looks a little high. Don't mean it's, and this one seems to be okay for the second floor. Yeah. That's the one that your father wanted me to work on. Yep. Wow, the little tiny tank here. Yeah, so the gas smell might have been coming from a downdraft because it's windy out. Got it. And, uh, all right, let me get him a slip. Set to. Um. 60, 75 in here now. What do you want it set to? I just put it like 71. 71, all right. Do you got other heaters going? Is that why it's so high in here? Yeah, we have two spaces. Okay, here. so you could shut them other two off. I got to set it 71. Got it. See, it's a windy day out here today. I could hear it. That's why I can smell a little gas. Well, oh, there, Mr. Molly. Well, oh, there, Miss Molly. You miss me? Oh yeah, you missed me. I know you. I know you missed me. You missed me. You're looking very stylish today, Miss Molly. You're looking very stylish. 